Now for another look at our own forecast here today feels great, but you said it earlier, Brett, there is kind of that that haze in the air today. Yeah, we had that low level moisture. And of course, that's dissipating, but it's still left over and it's combining with some uh, not very thick smoke from the wildfires out west. It'll get thicker as the week goes on, but it's enough to give our sky that sort of murky gray appearance. I think we'll see enough sunshine to kind of bleed through the, that little bit of murk to get us up to about 80 to 81, maybe even 82 in some spots today. But that's the current KB Complete City Cam. That's from the stadiums looking west toward downtown Kansas City. And you can see right on the horizon, a lot of that haze is just hanging there. This afternoon, 81 in Kansas City, 81 in Olathe. Harrisonville makes it up to 81. South wind about 5 to 10. That haze in the sky. Warmer areas maybe just west of town. Lawrence up to 83. Ottawa and Garnett up to 82 degrees. Radar satellite. We do have a few clouds drifting in with some moisture from the south, but those clouds will not create any kind of rain. They're not associated with Hurricane Sally right now. It's just a little moisture coming off the Pacific. But let's uh, take a little closer look at Sally here. And you can see where it is. And this is going to be forecast track going forward from this evening at 7 p.m. Again, this storm has slowed down to where it's only moving at about two miles an hour. So if you look at it, it's a category one storm right now. Max winds at 85 miles an hour. It's forecast to perhaps make landfall tomorrow morning at about 7 a.m. right there on the central Gulf Coast, maybe between uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and even the panhandle of Florida, feeling some of that, and then it spins up into the deep south. So here we go. We put it into motion. Notice how slowly it churns, and then it starts to move toward Atlanta. In its wake, once it makes it to Atlanta, look at all this rainfall. Keep an eye on these numbers. 17 to 20 inches of rain rain. So that's why they were talking about hours of heavy rainfall and flooding is likely going to be the biggest concern here. The storm surge concern has come down just a little bit because the storm has stopped strengthening and so it looks like it's going to be all about heavy rainfall. Cold front for us Thursday morning slips through here. Cooler northeast winds come in behind that. We get a little patch of clouds. That's Friday morning at 7 a.m. By Friday night, the high school football forecast, this might be the best one that we have here for the next few weeks. 65 hazy skies at 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 64, lower 60s at 8 o'clock, upper 50s by 10 o'clock. That could require a sweatshirt. Right now, our air quality forecast, we're in the good range. But let's talk about this as we head through the rest of the week. Keep an eye on this plume of smoke to the north. It heads into Kansas City so that by Thursday morning into Friday, we start to see our skies getting a lot murkier thanks to the smoke out west. Those wildfire smoke throwing some influence here into Kansas City. Security Bank 7 day forecast 81 today, 83 tomorrow. A little cooler Thursday and Friday with morning lows in the low 50s. Daytime highs lower 70s by Friday. Don't forget those hazy skies. The weekend right now looks mm, fantastic. 74 Saturday, 77 Sunday. Chiefs are out of town, Sporting KC in town. This is going to be a great night for the match. Yeah, I don't do this often, but this weekend we're actually going to camp out. Oh, I love it. Oh. Saturday night into Sunday. That campfire, that, you, your s'mores, you're not going to, you can't beat that. I mean, right? It's right. just right on. Yeah. I'm going to ignore the allergies for now. <laughs> Thanks, Brett.